Hi, my name is Dean Nieves, and today I'm going to give um, some training on our transdermal velvet antler product. Um, it's combined with velvet antler, emu, and jojoba oil. Uh, first, I'm going to touch on just to give you some, some skin basics, some education on your skin so you have a basis of information to work with. Your skin has three different layers. Um, your skin is the largest gland or organ in the body, which means it's able to absorb constituents very efficiently through the skin layer and deliver them directly into the bloodstream. Um, the only other manners that are as efficient as transdermal delivery are either sublingual delivery, meaning under the tongue into the bloodstream, or intravenous or subcutaneous injection. Um, the issue lies is with intravenous or subcutaneous injection. Um, usually that's uh, only classified or utilized with pharmaceuticals. So once you have that type of delivery system, you're classified as a pharmaceutical. Um, so what's in, uh, what causes the skin to break down? What causes you to age? What radical cells do? And, and what are radical cells and what are they produced from? Radical cells are foreign invader cells that cause damage to tissue in your body, uh, primarily tissue um, that's composed of, of protein. So not only do they damage tissue in your body or break down tissue in the body, they affect your immune system. Um, also, radical cells cause wrinkles. How radical cells cause wrinkles is that by depleting the levels of collagen. Um, collagen is one of the main structural proteins for your skin. It's the plumping agent under your skin. It gives your skin volume. What happens is these radical cells that are produced from contaminants in your food, stress, whether from your, your diet or your lifestyle, or even um, uh, radical cells are produced from UV or ultraviolet lights or sunlight. What happens is these radical cells eat away or break down that collagen. Uh, when collagen is broken down, what happens um, is it actually causes a line in your skin. And what that line is, is a wrinkle. So by depleting collagen, we cause wrinkles. Also, radical cells break down your DNA structure, that spiral staircase that's responsible for healthy cell division or healthy new cell production. Um, as we, lose the, abil uh, in a, as we uh, lose the ability to produce these new healthy cells in the same manner as we did before, um, it affects our skin renewal cycle. So the skin renewal cycle slows down. What that means is the turnover of your healthy cells slows down. Um, so as skin uh, cells fall off and die, new skilled skin cells rise to the top or the outer layer of the skin. As that cycle gets longer and longer, um, your skin begins to look more aged, um, your skin begins to look less healthy, you lose color, you lose texture, you lose volume, you lose elasticity. So all those things are affected by um, radical cells. So how do we neutralize, how do we kill off radical cells or how do we stop them? Antioxidants. Antioxidants, they neutralize radical cells. So what's in velvet antler um, that, that causes um, these radical cells to be neutralized? Well, first and foremost, IGF-1. Velvet antler is rich in IGF-1. Um, a lot of the growth factors, especially IGF-1, found in velvet antler have a great assimilation to the human body, meaning that they're almost identical to what your own body structures are. So they're able to be utilized very efficiently. Um, and IGF-1, like I said, is the most powerful growth factor or most powerful antioxidant uh, in the body. It's the master growth factor for the body. It's the end result of HGH in the body, and it helps to rebuild that DNA structure, which I mentioned prior, is the main culprit of healthy new cell division. What we also find in there is FGF, or fibroblast growth factor. Fibroblast growth factor rebuilds that network of capillaries under your skin that deliver oxygen to your skin. Uh, like I said, your skin is an organ or a gland, so it needs oxygen to survive just as a plant or a mammal does. Um, so providing oxygen to your skin, you're able to nourish your skin and keep it alive and keep it healthy. Also, they use fibroblast growth factors to initiate skin grafts and burn victims. So if that gives you any indication of the uh, therapeutic benefits on your skin that that particular growth factor can have. Also, we find epidermal growth factor. Epidermal growth factor, or EGF, is actually what rebuilds that outer layer of your skin. It's a, a very specific growth factor for rebuilding your skin layer, your outer skin layer. Uh, we also find transforming growth factors. 
Um, those are what are um, actually cause the, the rebuilding or the epithelialization of a wound. Um, and diabetics actually lack this growth factor or the production of this growth factor naturally in their body or they have unhealthy levels of this growth factor or, or very low levels of this growth factor within their body. So that's why they always have a difficult time uh, healing once they um, have an open wound or they're injured. We also find those two main structural proteins for the skin, collagen and elastin. Those are found within the velvet antler extract. Like I said, collagen is the plumping agent for the skin, so not only will we be protecting collagen by neutralizing those radical cells and rebuilding the DNA structure, we're also providing collagen and applying it directly into, um, into that damaged or inflamed area uh, or skin tissue. We also find elastin. Elastin is what gives elasticity to your skin. Um, it allows your skin to resume its normal shape once it's pinched or, 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 or moved or squeezed and allows it to have that bounce back or that elasticity to your skin. And that's, of course, is lost with age and, and radical cell production. Um, IGF-1 and the, some of the other components in velvet antler raise glutathione levels. Glutathione is a mother antioxidant for your body. It helps to absorb and utilize other antioxidants that you consume for your foods. And like I said, it's the master of the mother antioxidant for your body. So glutathione is also going to help that DNA structure and keep the integrity of that DNA structure intact. So talking about these other components are these carrier oils that we have, emu and jojoba oil. Emu and jojoba oil are called non-commodogenic oils which means their, their structure is very similar to your own skin structure. So they're not going to cause any allergies, they're not going to cause you to have any skin issues, they're not going to cause you to break out. Um, if you do have issues with acne or you know, blemishes within your skin, it is safe to use this product. It's actually going to help out with your complexion. Uh, what these oils do is since their, their makeup is so similar to your own bodies, they regulate your own uh, production of oil or sebum oil, skin oil. So they're going to help to regulate your production of skin oil. So if you do have oily skin, it's safe to use them. It's going to regulate the amount of oil that's produced in your body. Um, they're completely hypoallergenic. They're gluten free and they have no peanut or nut allergies associated with these two carrier oils. And like I mentioned, they're powerful carrier oils. So what they're going to do is they're going to take all these therapeutic growth factors and deliver them three layers deep and bring them directly into the bloodstream. Um, so there's other skincare products that utilize IGF, fibroblast growth factor, and epidermal growth factor, generally in an isolated form. And generally, these isolated forms are synthetically derived isolated forms. Um, and rarely do we ever see in nature this full spectrum of growth factors delivered in a 100% natural formula. 